subs. I know you missed me. Um, yeah, probably not. I am starting a new series. It's going to be about my very first bikini competition prep. Um, honestly, I'm super excited to make this. Mainly it's for me just to document my whole journey and something I can look back on and just be really proud of that I pushed myself through such a hard, disciplined thing. So my first few weeks have been honestly eating a lot of food, more food than I'm used to. Um, I'm eating, let's see, I'm eating seven meals a day. Two of those are like a post and pre-workout meal slash snack. Um, and so it's really about meal timing. And so I eat about every three hours. Um, it's very healthy, very simple, whole foods, very clean, salt and pepper, maybe a little hot sauce, um, but I have to keep it very clean. So, you know, it's it's an adjustment, but honestly, the first two weeks, I feel super healthy. Um, all my bloating's gone. I am gluten intolerant, so obviously there is no gluten, which is great. Um, and I think it's really just, it's not in anything. Like, you know, they sneak gluten in things sometimes and um, sugar and just all that stuff. And even though I, I honestly always ate 80-20, you know, before the prep, 80% um, good healthy foods, 20%. You know, I I have a treat and, you know, I, I live my life. I go out with family and friends and my boyfriend. So, you know, I you treat yourself. <laughs> um, but not having that at all, like literally at all, I think has really helped, honestly, my digestive system. I feel really light. I feel tighter. I know it's only been two weeks and really not much has changed. Um, I know it's going to be a slow process and I'm just gonna have to put in a lot of hard work and I am ready for it and this is something I've been wanting to do since I was 19 years old I'm 25 now and finally feel like it's something that if I put my mind to it I can do um, I'm gonna give a little like a really brief just kind of fitness history of mine um, growing up, I was always super active. I grew up on a farm and just always playing outside with the animals. Um, when I was a teenager, I rode horses every single day, you know, lifting hay bales and buckets and blah, blah, blah. And so I was just like fit without even thinking about it. Um, and then when I got older and I moved out of my house and lived on my own away from the farm, Obviously, I didn't really have any activity going on, so I really lost a lot of muscle and strength. Um, I started feeling really bad about myself, and one day I woke up and I was just like, you know what, I, I need to change. I, I hate the way I feel, I hate the way I look. I was never, you know, super overweight. I might have been five pounds overweight. I think the heaviest I've ever weighed was 168 and um, I'm five foot eight. And so my current weight right now that I started, you know, two weeks ago was like 154.6 or something like that. Um, and so I'm down one pound already in two weeks. That's pretty good because um, as far as I know, I, I, you know, one pound a week is probably what we're looking at. Um, the first week was probably just my body adjusting, losing some water weight and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, oh, and sorry, <laughs> I, I got so sidetracked. The first, or when I woke up and decided, you know, I was going to change my life, I need to be fit, I need to be strong and healthy. Um, I actually joined CrossFit. I did CrossFit for almost four years. I injured my back. I got a herniated disc in my lower, my lumbar area. And that took uh, a, good, a good while, almost definitely four months of literally not being able to lift or squat or bend over or do anything that was remotely physical. I was a server at the time and I even had to take time off of that because just staying on my feet for more than 15-20 minutes was excruciating. Um, so I just had to take time to relax <laughs> and it was kind of a big, 
a big F you, you know, in my face and was just like, you know, hey, Meredith, you need to slow down, uh, listen to your body more. And, you know, I was really very into CrossFit. I even did a progressive overload two times a week strength training on top of doing CrossFit um, at least five days a week. So that was seven days a week I was really putting in some work and even on the weekend sometimes I didn't chill out and I would go hiking with my friends and God knows what else I would do. Um, and it just kind of caught up with me. Um, I've always had trouble with my feet. I have very flat feet, um, collapsed arches, if you know what those are. But honestly, I think that had a lot to do with it because lifting heavy weights, doing like, um, you know, deadlifts and uh, snatches, all that kind of stuff that just really put a lot of pressure on my low back. Even if I tried my best to keep my form tight, it just didn't matter because I was overdoing it. I think and it just snapped and my back just during my warm-up doing side shuffles nothing intense I just felt it like that and it hurt so bad took my breath away and you know that was that and I I was like you know what I I'm just gonna have to chill out for a bit and I was feeling the strongest I had ever felt I felt so good and so I was really got into a funk and I got very depressed um, and so I, I, I was making YouTube videos before that and just all that happened to me and it just really, it almost felt like an identity thing or I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I got really depressed, um, and a lot of anxiety just because I already am kind of an, a stressed, uh, worry wart, like kind of a person. And so just honestly working out was my outlet it was my outlet for my stress my anxiety um, I do have ADD working out has just always really just cleared my mind maybe be able to focus better and I would have such a better day if I worked out and just having that taken away from me was really hard especially for my mental state and I just got into a funk um, and yeah, I had to pull myself out of that hole. So it did take, it did take a few months. Um, and I learned a lot about myself and what I want. And, you know, I, I tried to do CrossFit again. And, and I did, I, I, I had a great coach and he really did help me kind of um, repair, or what do you call that, rehabilitation kind of workouts and I was feeling a lot better my back was not I was not in extreme pain anymore um, still my back from time to time just doesn't feel right it feels like a, a soreness that is just not necessarily normal I, I don't know how to explain it but I try to listen to my body if that happens I do a lot of deep stretching um, I take magnesium. Magnesium really helps with my muscles not like clench, you know, and it makes them relax a bit. And I also recover faster if I take magnesium. So I definitely have to take that. Anyway, that is pretty much my little spiel about why I haven't been on YouTube. Not that probably anyone really cares because I just make videos for myself mainly and it's fun. I really enjoy creating. I love editing. And, you know, I've been a fan of YouTubers since I can remember. Like, I was 12 years old and just would binge watch YouTube. And I was obsessed with YouTube. And it was just always something I always wanted to do is make YouTube videos. Like, that'd be such a cool hobby. And, you know, before when I started, I let it get the best of me. And I thought, you know, I had higher expectations, I guess, like, oh, more people are going to really enjoy watching me and all this stuff, and it just doesn't work that way, and, and I've watched some other YouTubers, I think it was um, actually Max uh, Tuning, and he was saying, you know, it took him years to get where he is, and he never gave up, and, you know, he just he just kept pushing through and, and making videos that made him happy, and um, yeah, he he... He, look at him now, you know? So I have to look at it not like that. I'm not doing YouTube for to be like some successful influencer. Um, if anything, it's for me to document my progress, my journey, 
if you guys can relate to that, that's awesome. And I hope I can help you in some significant small way even. And even if not, then you know, it's this is for me. So I, I'm extremely excited for this journey. I have never done a bikini competition prep. So this is my first time ever. And I, it's, it's gonna be really hard. I've, I've already gotten two weeks in and it's hard. It's definitely not easy. And I have good days and I have like lower energy days where I just like, holy hell, I have to do 45 minutes of cardio. Would you please just kill me? Why I wanna do this is I feel like it's going to teach me ultimate discipline. Um, and that transfers into so many parts of your life, not just fitness, not just eating well. Um, and not that I would say I'm not disciplined. I would say I'm a very determined person, but I have to have that passion. I have to have that drive or I will not finish it. So with this, it's just different. Like it's something I've wanted to do for years. I feel extremely motivated and inspired from other YouTubers and, and other people that I know that do it. And I wanna be one of those people. I want to inspire other people. I wanna inspire myself. I wanna finish this prep and then look back and be like, okay, that, I need to be better than that girl the next time, you know? So. I'm just really excited for that and I just want to share my journey with you guys. I hope that you um, enjoy everything. I'm going to be updating videos probably every two weeks because, you know, progress is going to be slow and I got to put in the work and so it would be kind of silly to make a video every week, I feel like. So every two weeks. I'm gonna be putting up a new video. I'm gonna be doing a physique update and just kind of a mental state update, how I'm feeling, um, and maybe go more into detail about what I'm eating um, and all that, all that jazz. You guys are awesome. I hope you have a really great week. And I am about to finish my lovely bowl of ground turkey, rice, and green beans. And then I'm about to go do my cardio and my lift. So I'm going to update you guys with just like a little first uh, physique update. Um, it's just a little video. Uh, and it's been two weeks, so not a lot has changed. I just feel a little bit, I don't feel as bloated and I feel tighter. So I'm just gonna show that so that way I have that for when I'm at the end of this prep and I can look back and I can be like, God damn, you know. Okay, anyway, 